Now, if there is one thing South Africans love to do, as you've proven, it's to stir up and cheer up. It is the braai. And so I'm so glad so many people have identified that as being ultimately a part of our heritage. It is tradition to light a fire every weekend and sometimes during the week as well. Perfectly permissible. Equally important are the side dishes that accompany our aromatic meats, whatever you're choosing to braai. Rooster cook is an old traditional favorite that is guaranteed to stir up and cheer up. Jenny Morris is always my stir up and tear up a kind of girl. Oh, I love um, you. We are making some, this is a classic, but it has to be done right and it's done Rooster well. Rooster cook, mm. absolutely. And they've got to be flat because you, they normally get cooked on the fire. So you want them to cook quickly. You don't want them to be all doughy inside. So a couple of basic ingredients. We always need the rice. The so rice. So okay, so I'm gonna some... I'm gonna help you out however I can. So what do you need me to do here in the the dough creation? Okay, in the dough creation, not gonna use all the water at once, but okay. take the yeast. It's instant yeast, which is lovely because it's just revolutionised bread making. It's just ready making. to do its thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then you're going to take um, a little bit of salt and um, pop it I'm into mixing there. Mixing the. The no. salt and the yeast. You listened. I, I've learned. You've learned. Keep that little guy so safe can, and, yes. and friendly and happy. Yes. And then, uh, ho, 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 ho. How much? Mix it all in together and first then. because you want that yeast to be evenly distributed. Okay. And now, sweetheart, make a little vel in the center, right. and then you go slowly with like half of it. And here, this is this is this is the magic ingredient. Oh, our cream It's going to enrich it and make it fabulous. Beautiful. Yes. That's the rise up chair up yes. right there. Absolutely. Um, let me make a little. Well, in the, well in the centre, and, and about you, half the water. About stay, half hey? the water, and then just keep stirring it and stirring it till you've got a nice soft dough. Um, and then, like with all doughs, we're going to let it just rise in a nice warm little spot in the corner. It could stand yeah, next to me thing. because there's so much heat coming out of this kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be risen before you know it. Um, oh. And what we're going to do with ours is we're going to use snook. I love that. Beautiful bright snook. You could use smoked snook pate as well if you want to do these uh, little rooster cooks as a starter. A little bit more water into them, my I love. I think that's brilliant. Because yeah. uh, like when you're making a bride, generally people get hungry when they arrive. They want to eat something. They want to eat something. They want to wait until the whole big no. spiel is no, done. No, it's a whole spiel. Absolutely. I love that. So the secret yes. ingredient here that we are using in our rooster cook mm. today is obviously the crumel to give it that na. Taste, and it really does elevate it. Cremel is more than just a coffee and a tea creamer. We've been saying this, we've been proving it on the show. It can be also used brilliantly in baking and in cooking to bring out a rich and creamy taste of so many dishes. You simply mix a, a clover cremel with a dash of water and then add a creamy texture to your sauces, to your dishes, to your bakes. Anything, desserts, savory, it doesn't matter. Clover Cremel is the only creamer with real milk powder for a creamier taste. Well, I'm making creamier taste. I'm making huge big ones. Yeah, do it, <laughs> I man. love it. Do or it. Make a couple of small ones. I suppose it doesn't yeah. have to be a side. It no. can be a main. <laughs> Listen, if it's a starter, I would do like small little ones. And basically, it's going to go. You, can, you know what? You don't. If you live in an apartment, you can do it on a beautiful grill pan. Mm. Nothing's going to stop you having your rooster brush. And nothing's going to stop me feeling feeding you rooster brush. So what I've done here, I have made for you mm. some beautiful rooster brush and I've got some snook, which um, we did do on our little bri outside, but once again, don't be put off. Um, you know what, those are so delicious and light and fluffy, it's already made, it'll save me touching the snook. <laughs> can I give you some of that? You can, with absolute I'm going to bring pleasure. You, and you know my hands are... Can I ask you a favour, mm. can you also, while you're at it, do you mind mixing a little bit of cremel into my tea there? Oh, I will. Because I haven't had my, my breakfast cupper. You haven't? Cupper. Okay. How, how do you like Ooh. it, darling? Do you like it milky? Uh, I do like, like it beautiful it? and creamy. I just need, I mean, maybe two spoons of my, my cremel. Well, why don't I just... Yeah. Um, do it. A lot of people hate it when students say, I'll just do it by the eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Here we go. Just two. Too heat or too Perfect. level. Perfect. No, that's correct. And I'm going to just give oh, look, how, look how quickly it dissolves. See, I like my milk creamy, and I generally mm -hmm. I'd have a lot of like um, sugar or or um, wow. honey in it because I just love my tea sweet. It's just my vibe. It's one of my creature comforts. Look at that. Yeah. Do you know what I love about that? If your fridge goes off during, it's kind of like a. You know, one of those moments, oh, um, you can still enjoy um, your milk because it won't be sour. Exactly. Absolutely fill, beautiful, but it's a beautiful the, the creamy taste yeah. I love. Okay, Look, I at, this. Look, at, this, Look at this. Look at this, Graham. Look at this, my Gigi. Beautiful, beautiful rooster brut. Look at oh, that. I love that. And you've got to have that, like, slight char. It's got to be charred. Oh, yes. Because otherwise it doesn't, it's not traditional. 
Beautiful. And there's enough heat in there to continue to Take cook that. Okay. And I'm going to give you that. Now, what oh. I've done here, darling, is I've just taken this. Look, we've baked it in the oven. Or you can bry it if you have facilities outside. And what I love about snook is got those lovely long bones. Mm. So this one's got um, apricot jam, which is very, very traditional. I love um, that. And if you don't want, you can bite. Can I'll have a, talk. Can I have a little bit bite. Of, oh, um, and sorry. what you could do is you could put some coriander in there because, listen, we're a, a global nation, you know. We can give it a little bit of an mm. Indian touch with a bit of green chili to that. Nice. Mm. It's good. Yes. This is the best way to have snook for me. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Wow. These are cooking beautifully. <gasps> Look at that. Happiness is light Excuse and fluffy. Excuse me, chewing very loudly, but <laughs> what I love about this is it's all about those counterbalances. So you've got the beautiful smokiness of the, the yes. rooster cook, which kind of feeds into the smokiness of the, the snook itself. Yes. Beautiful, salty, umami flavour of the fish. Yes. Tempered by that sweetness of the, the apricot, apricot jam. Apricot jam. Absolutely beautiful. Magic. Look the, at that. If you're going to get your protein in, do it like this. <laughs> what I love about this is, as you say, you can make this as a beautiful little entree, a little bry starter, it's if gorgeous. you will. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, also a nice side with the bry, or if someone isn't going to be delving into the yes. meat and is just having fish. We can make this into a beautiful main a meal huge as well. Big mat. And you know what you could also do with this is you could kind of do them up front and then people can build their own little mm. cough and tomato. Exactly, they can do it exactly stick them how back they want. On the yeah. just to melt it out. So oh, yeah. absolutely beautiful. This is a win. And, and the fact that it's so simple and easy to make, and make sure you add the magic ingredients. Cremel really does elevate it. To get this recipe, head over to expressoshow.com and tell us on the Expresso Show socials how you use Cremel to stir up and cheer up and you could be winning yourself a hamper so you can stir up and cheer up even more wherever you are especially this heritage day because I have met I would imagine a lot of people are going to be brying over oh, this coming gonna weekend. Oh they're going to be brying indeed. Mm, I've got to go in for and as that. I say you don't need to be outdoors you oh. can have your own little grilled indoor moment. Absolutely magic. <laughs> Good. So we've had classic fashion from Timby Classic cars, thanks, Chad. And we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic. A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover.